Hello everyone, I am Kate and welcome to day nine of my low carb journey. Right off the bat, I wanna get into where I am testing at um, as far as ketosis is concerned. So let me do that because I did that right before the video. Um, so this is the ketosis strip. You pee on that. You wait about 15 seconds normally and then you wanna check it against um, the spectrum there and see where you're at. So I would definitely say, I know there's a glare on there, let's see. So I would say I'm I'm probably between the two. Um, I'm happy to say I have been testing in ketosis for, you know, I don't know, um, past couple of days. And again, it is not an indicator that you are losing weight. Well, for me it is though. So I do wanna stress this. These are meant to be used, I guess, to an extent as you see fit. Usually when you're testing here, it is because your body is producing so much. It is getting rid of the excess um, that's traveling around in your system via your urine. So testing higher is just kind of say like you're flooded, you flooded your system with this. Um, and lower on it is just kind of like where you're at. I have had at least one day where it was higher here. I want to say it was um, yesterday. So first, let's start with what I'm doing. It is very similar. Pretty much it is the Atkins Low Carb Diet. It is the first two weeks of induction, induction of which you keep your carbs below 20. Now, these are net carbs. You calculate the net carb of something by taking the fiber and subtracting that from the carb count, and that gives you your net carbs. So, for example, if you're eating sunflower seeds, you're going to take a look at your total carbs. You're then going to minus out the fiber in it, and that there is your net carb count. So wanting to keep your net carbs below 20. I have done this so often that um, I pretty much know what I can and can't eat. and. Another reason I like these handy dandy little keto strip test test strips is because let's say I'm unsure of something that I've eaten throughout the day, I can just later test my urine and see if it's affected where I was testing at on here. So another reason I really like these and find these is just a good tool for me. So again, keeping my carbs below 20 a day. Another thing is obviously no sugar, no bread, no pasta, no fruit. Um, yeah, I think it's probably easier for me to tell you what I do eat. Eggs, meat, cheese, vegetables, water, and green tea. And then um, lately I've been eating peanuts, but I do usually like to wait until I'm within that third week to start really getting down on this, <laughs> and then I do. Um, just because I am normally a chipaholic, so they provide that crunch that I do enjoy. Um, so this past weekend was just kind of crazy. It really threw a lot out of whack to include the first two days of this week. So during the weekend, I didn't have much of an appetite. I do want to say that the low-carb did contribute to that, but it was also just what was going on in life at the moment and just feeling like busy and not taking that time to ensure I was eating. But to be honest, indulging in the fact that I wasn't hungry. <laughs> and so not eating and really just indulging in that feeling was what I was really doing too. Um, so I, I had two days where I maybe had one meal a day on those two days. With that being said, let's get right into that weight loss. So the first week, I have lost seven pounds doing Atkins. Um, now we're on the second week, and I'm very excited to see what my results will be next week and share those with you all. Um, so far this week, my routine has just kind of been kicked off. I have not had any green tea since probably late last week, and that's just kind of like a staple for me. That's My green tea is one of those things I love, and I just enjoy drinking, and I have, and I do. But I've yet to do that in the past couple of days. I also have not been to the gym in the past two days. We all know how I feel about that, um, but these past two days for me have just more so been getting stuff together, getting laundry done, just catching up on what I wasn't able to have caught up over the weekend. So again, seven pounds down this first week on Atkins. 
induction, low carb, whatever you all want to call it. Um, that is where I'm at. And then I am keeping up with my journaling, um, which I've really enjoyed. It really helps, I think, as you can see, it was kind of a little more creative in the beginning and then just had one day even where it was just kind of like, I'm going to jot down whatever, one color at least, it's there and it's done. I feel it's important to do things like this because it keeps us accountable and it really, for me, keeps me on track with where I'm at and what I'm doing. By the way, it does say day eight. Um, it's because I do count that first day. <laughs> so it's a week. But um, as you can see there, weight was 174, now 167, seven pounds down in a week. One other thing I want to touch base on with this is going to be that I initially had that sober day count there. Um, I'm not going to be keeping up with that right now. I think that I'm rather undecided in regards to what I want to do with that. Now, clearly, I'm not drinking. It doesn't, my soberness does not have to do with drinking. It's more of just the smoking that I do nightly. <laughs> so, um, you know, maybe cutting back on that. I just really am kind of not sure right now and not in any rush to make any changes with it. So I do want to say thank you to everybody who's watching and encouraging and leaving me comments. Um, feel free to leave me anything down below. I do appreciate it. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and hit the like button for me. And if you have felt it beneficial, maybe somebody else could benefit from it, go ahead and share it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so already so we can watch me lose weight together and see what clothes will fit from my closet. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, another thing I want to go over quickly is I am posting these along with where I may be testing in ketosis daily on my Instagram, which can be found here. So go ahead and check that out as well. I do also usually post what I've eaten throughout the day, just so that if anybody is struggling with options, they can always refer back to these and see what might work or what options there are. I do also want to say that I um, did eat out a few times this week, Texas Roadhouse. I had steak, chicken smothered with mushrooms and cheese, and broccoli, a house salad with ranch dressing. I've eaten out at Chick-fil-A and had their uh, Cobb salad, no corn, and the avocado lime dressing I absolutely love. Panda Express, and with them it's just mixed vegetables. The mushroom chicken carries a low carb count, as well as the teriyaki chicken, no sauce. So there are still solutions. If anything is holding you back from starting your own journey um, in regards to losing weight, know that there are solutions and possibilities when it comes to eating and eating to a way of which you're happy and satisfied um, out there. And again, message me if you have any questions or want to know recommendation. I will do my best to give that to you. Again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.